Hello everyone and welcome back to the Angular University. In this lesson we're going to be introducing the timer trigger for the defer block. Now we are going to learn how this trigger works and then we're going to use it to better understand the difference between the normal defer trigger and the prefetch trigger. Remember when it comes to defer there are actually two different triggers. If you only define the configuration for one trigger, that is the equivalent of using that same trigger for both prefetch and for displaying the deferred block to the user. But first, let's introduce the timer trigger. So the timer trigger works in the following way. We're going to add here at on timer and we can pass it a time either in milliseconds or in seconds. I'm going to say here in seconds. Let's say that we only display this block to the user after 15 seconds. So if we run this, we're going to see that the placeholder gets displayed here to the user, but the bundle was actually already loaded in the background with on idle. All right, and then after 15 seconds, the defer block is going to apply here the content to the page. All right, so we could also use the same timer block here on the prefetch trigger, and that is going to allow us to understand in better detail the difference between these two triggers. So I'm going to say that we are going to do the prefetch on timer 10 seconds, meaning that the bundle should only be loaded 10 seconds after our component got initialized. And then 15 seconds after our component got initialized, if the bundle has already finished loading, then we should display the deferred block to the user, meaning this content here. Now let's switch here to another browser where I'm going to open here the network tab and I'm going to refresh the application. So notice the following. The placeholder is being displayed to the user and as you can see, the extra bundle has not been loaded yet here in the network tab. 10 seconds after it gets loaded and then five seconds after that, the block is going to get displayed to the user as expected. So let's do this one more time to make sure that we understood how this works. We have here two triggers, the prefetch trigger. This is what causes the bundle to get loaded from the backend. It will be fired after 10 seconds. And then we have this trigger, which I sometimes call the defer display trigger. This is the trigger that causes Angular to show the deferred block to the user. This is going to be triggered after 15 seconds. Both of these timers start at the same moment, which is when the component gets first rendered. So I'm going to go here to the browser again. I'm going to refresh. Notice that the secondary deferred bundle has not been loaded yet. 10 seconds after it gets loaded and the loading finishes, but the component is not displayed yet. Only five seconds after this finishes loading, only then will the component get displayed to the user. So as we can see with the at defer syntax, we really can configure these two triggers in a completely independent way. And I'm going to be introducing more triggers in the next few lessons that are going to allow us to support all sorts of advanced use cases. You can, for example, preload a bundle from the backend using prefetch and do that one second after the page has loaded, for example, or on idle or, or on immediate, and then display here the component only after the user has scrolled down the page. So we can support all sorts of very advanced, very fine-grained use cases. Let's then continue exploring in our next few lessons what other pre-built triggers we have available for using here in both prefetch and the display trigger.